Brock Lesnar is looking to further his unmatched legacy of the only man to hold championships in the NCAA, WWE, IWGP in Japan, and the UFC. And given the odds here, I suspect this one will be quick and not so painless. Brock Lesnar still enters every match as the odds-on favorite. Yeah, I would never predict a Lesnar loss, Saxton, because you can enter Suplex City, Oof. but you will never come out the same. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! That's what you call a bad landing. Setting it up. Nice neck breaker. Throughout WWE's more than 54 year history, there's one cover here. And he kicks out. Wow. Oh, backing it up there. Oh, you know that hurt. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman in Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair which in my mind was done without just cause. And it's something I don't condone. I don't know about you guys. He's going for the pin. Easily kicks out of that one. Still too fresh. Submission time. Doesn't appear to be locked in very well. Great job breaking the hold there. Good thing, too. That could have been ugly, Michael. Byron, you mentioned Lesnar's extended leave from WWE in 2004, which was at the height of his WWE career, just months removed from being WWE champion. However, he used that time away wisely, making a name for himself in the MMA world. And I think that's understating it a little bit, Cole. The truth is, Brock Lesnar was the top dog in MMA for a long time. Heck, I'd say he could still be an MMA champ today. When it comes to taking on Brock Lesnar, Corey, we've seen varying approaches. Almost all of them resulted in very little success. But what do you think is the best strategy when stepping into the ring with the Beast? Honestly, pray. Hope the pain and agony. He's got him covered. And an early kick out. Oh, wow. When this guy's on, look out. Going back to strategy against Lesnar, I have to reiterate, the man's track record includes very few losses and a ton of broken bodies. What else is there to do against the Beast? Uh, I've got an even better answer than you, Corey. I simply wouldn't even step in the ring with Lesnar in the first place. Turn tail, run, and take that count out loss to live another day. You're smarter than you look, Saxton. See? Across the shoulders. Down, Samoan driver. Oh, it's over. Look at this. One, two. No, he kicks out at two. The beast won't stay down. Hooked up. And the Jinoku driver. Oh. 
absolutely planet. Oh, what a snap mare. Oh, perfectly executed. Ouch. Brock Lesnar starting to teeter. This is not at all where he wants to be at at this point in this handicap match. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this, and what I've learned Ouch. so far here tonight is that there is absolutely no quit in him. Oh, from the top! Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He's looking at it. DDT! That's what he was looking for, Michael. Can he do it here? And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents. And Cross the shoulders. Down, Samoan driver. Here's his moment, Michael. The shoulders are down. And he breaks the pin. <laughs> Drop kick to the back. you gotta do to maintain the advantage we've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability and we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advent. He might have it. He's looking incredibly fatigued right now. I mean, it looks to me German after German by Brock. Lesnar back in firm control of this match. Did you guys feel that too? No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has... Oh, no. Lesnar's about to end this. And he got a near fall out of it. How'd he do that? Not much is known about Brock Lesnar's life away from the bright lights and sold out arenas of WWE. We do know that Lesnar's an avid outdoorsman who lives off the land and enjoys seclusion somewhere in the Great White North. Lesnar is proud of the fact that he lives miles away from his closest neighbor. What a stop! Good grief! If you're ever curious about Brock Lesnar's take on speaking with people, just watch his discussion with Steve Austin on the Stone Cold Podcast on the WWE Network. Lesnar's not someone who exchanges pleasantries with strangers while running errands on a Sunday morning. I think it's quite rude of people to try and find out personal information about someone who doesn't want to be bothered with the outside world. I won't contribute to this blatant invasion of Brock Lesnar's privacy. Just know the Beast doesn't like to be bothered by others. Oh boy, he is rolling. Looks like trouble here, Byron. I don't know. I guess that all depends on who you're rooting for. He wants no part of the outside.
Well, I think a lot of people saw this handicap match going a lot differently, myself included. Got their opponent. Oh, what a slam! That hurt! Oh, boy, he is rolling. Back elbow. Did you, you see that? Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Cross the shoulders. Down, Samoan driver. But can he follow up here? That just echoed throughout this entire arena. He's got the shoulders down. Two. And he breaks up the count. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. At what point do those thoughts creep in of what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. Oh! Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Larian! Oh, and he's taken off his feet. I'll tell you, he can't afford to be horizontal at this point in the match, Cole. Shoulder tackle! Down he goes. That'll do it every time. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Lesnar. There may be... Oh. Lesnar back in firm control of this match. We got a cover. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. He's making a statement here with this attack. He has him right where he wants him. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. With the F5. Bang. Just when you thought he had nothing left. This is Brock Lesnar's chance. No doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. That was a dominating showing where we saw the beast Brock Lesnar just annihilate his opponent. That's what Brock does best. And I'll tell you, the real...